They say it's a parent's worst nightmare. You'd expect your child to walk through the door when they're due home, but when they don't, you know something's wrong. Jill and Dan Harrington have kept a level head for the past week and a half, and as they search for their daughter Morgan, they're speaking to us in an interview you'll see only on three. never know how strong you are until you are forced to dig for it. It's broken down by two, four, one. Two longing parents looking to bring their four family members back to one piece. Jill and Dan Harrington are sleepless as they search for their daughter, Morgan. Uh, before she left here, she said, Dad, you're going to be home tomorrow afternoon because I, when I get back, I, I need some help uh, preparing for a math exam. I have had many goodbyes. I don't take goodbyes lightly. I always walk her to the car, and she gets in the car, and as she's pulling out, she's always flashing those fingers at me, two, four, one. In fact, that was the last thing she said to it me. It was the last that? thing she said to me when she left, because that's just our little, you know, your little code. I love you too much forever and once more than forever. Morgan's described as a free spirit, eccentric and energetic, with posters of Black Sabbath and the Beatles hanging in her room. But now a different poster hangs as Morgan's been missing for nearly two weeks. This is our two, four, one that Morgan sent to me. Now two have become one, supporting each other through tough times, pleading with the public to help find their baby. You want your children to fly and to go to Metallica concerts and enjoy everything that's great about this world. With too much love forever, Jill has one message for Morgan. Be strong. Be strong. We're trying to get to you and we're trying to bring you back home, baby. The Harringtons are now offering a six-figure reward to anyone who can offer any clues as to Morgan's whereabouts. Metallica has also contributed a substantial amount of money to this fund.